Caliber two. All right, hopefully it's, this is going to work. Uh, I'll go for. I don't actually know what I've got saved on me on me on here, so I'll just quickly go to extra arcade. Oh, I don't know how good the quality of this video is going to be because on my screen this looks awful. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to be playing a bit of Soul Calibur 2 GameCube Edition. Oh, I've not unlocked the other costumes. I'll just stick with classic Green Link. And oh, I've got the Master Thord, the Raver Thord, the Armo Series Megaton Hammer, the Cane of Burna, Birna. The Mirror Shield and the Magic Thored. I'll stick with Master Sword. Alright, so the... Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is that I just today got this uh, Convert. It converts... I'm not sure if it's Component or Composite. I I get those two mixed up, but it basically converts, converts, converts the signal into HDMI output. So I can use that with my... Um, my uh, live game portable, which I use normally. So hopefully I can get record some um, some SD games because um, one of the games that for my DOA month thing uh, doesn't play on the 360. Only it, you know it was not compatible with the 360, so we need this so I can record it from the original Xbox. So I'm doing this as a little test. So yeah, I, I played Soul Calibur 2 on this channel before, but that was the HD version, not this one. Yeah, just, just, just to simply explain for those who aren't familiar, Soul, uh, Soul Calibur 2 being the first um, entry in the Soul series to be uh, multi-platform for the console release initially, uh, they decided to put in a guest character for each version, though I suspect it was a case of they just wanted Link in general, because the other two guest characters just aren't as well implemented, they're not as interesting. I mean, Link just fits perfectly. Then you got Hey Hachi for the PS2 version, yes, from Sol I mean, from Tekken, and then Spawn from Spawn. So you got Link in this version, so obviously he fits in the best. Let's see. If okay, I'm trying try to remember exactly how. I'm trying to remember exactly how you can, you can use the bow and bombs, and they make Link pretty OP. Oh, uh, let's see if there's any better weapon: lower defense or increased power. Uh, I will quickly just take uh, lower reach. Fuck it. I'll see what I can do with this. Yeah, so Link here actually spawned Link's obviously the best. So I feel like they just wanted Link. So they said, okay, it could only be, it'd have to be GameCube exclusive. So obviously we're going to have to do something uh, a bit better with, uh, you know, obviously we're going to have to do something a bit else, uh, else with the other systems. And all they really had was those two. So, yeah, Link is easily the best implemented and the best of the guest characters. One of the best characters, guest characters I've ever had, actually. So the recording seems to be going pretty well so far. I'm, su I'm surprised they didn't bring they didn't bring out a, a Wii U re-release. When they did the HD version, I'm surprised they didn't do a Wii U version. Uh, the thing is, uh, with, with uh, Soul Calibur 2, the best-selling version, I believe, was the GameCube version. You get one guess as to why. And if you think anything other than links in it, you're a fucking idiot. I mean, how many other games can you think of where the GameCube version is sold better? Okay, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure links must be really powerful. It's just, either it's that I'm bad at this game, I'm bad at this particular version, like because the controller, I don't know. We're not doing well, am I? Let's stick with the Master Sword. Yeah, he, uh, Link actually is only one of the guest characters to get alternate costumes. It's alternate colours. The, the other two get different models, but Link Link just gets the alternate... Uh, yeah, all, all Link gets is the uh, alternate uh, colours. Because uh, it's really all they had at the time. Damn it. 
So you get uh, green, red, blue, and purple. It's kind of the typical ones. No Dark Link colour, sadly. It's funny when you press a button, the character just makes a sound. F fun fact, actually, there's actually, actually two guest characters in this series who share voice actually with uh, Siegfried. Uh, Link is one of them. Um, Siegfried being the main character, of course. Because uh, Link, Adult Link's... Ocarina of Time Adult Link's voice actor, who was also in the first two Smash Bros and this, is also the voice of Siegfried. Was Nightmare and Yoshimitsu in this game as well. And in uh, Soul Calibur 5, you have Ezio Auditore, who is voiced by Roger Craig Smith, who is also the English voice of Siegfried in Soul Calibur 4, 5, and Legends. So, yeah. Is it they didn't bring Link back for uh, Soul Calibur Legends on the Wii? I got a bomb. Yeah, you know what, which, which language you choose, Link just has the same voice. Lizardman? Are you ready to die, Mr. Lizardman? He's like, I'm ready to kill you. And I'm like... Oh. Oh shit, oh shit. So, so hold... Oh shit. He must be able to do a spin attack. I don't know how, though. What the hell? You can tell a lot. A, I can, you, can, you can tell with this and Hyrule Warriors that the devs who make these games with Linkin have a lot of love for the Zelda franchise. It's like they even put in like, Zelda music here. Like, for that, or when you play a certain stage and freeze a weapon exhibition. The other guest characters didn't get that. And you can't make a noise at that point, but yeah. All three guest characters have Raphael as the rival battle. Well, Destin battle. I think it would be better to have a different character for each one. Yeah, how good is this? Link just takes him out. A bunch of Link's moves were implemented into the custom move set for uh, Sword and Shield in Soul Calibur 3. Yeah, and th this happens with everyone. They're just like, OMG! It's this Inferno, the, the soul of the Soul Edge. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you shouldn't just go, Yeah! It sounds so false, you just go, it's just something like, Ugh. Just something small, not, not a shout, like he's about to, like he's in the middle of an attack. And he's using Nightmare's moveset, because what he does, so obviously he has the advantage in reach. Uh, Infernal's gimmick is that he actually changes weapon, uh, he actually he changes his weapon uh, and style every uh, third of health that he loses. As you can see here, he's like, aha. So he's going to switch to, oh, Raphael's. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh. Okay. Which button is block again? Um, I think it's B. So I need I need to get into the habit of using block. Uh, if you wonder what the whole thing about to, oh shit, uh, like the e the extra mode is for some reason, uh, all the, the the opponent can't use alternate weapons and you can't either. Unless you choose extra, which means that you have, if you always just default, everyone has the default weapons and you can't use any alternates. So dumb. And I don't know why they felt the need to do that, but with like future titles, they just kind of dropped the idea. Because it was stupid. So you had Ivy's then, and now it's Yoshimitsu. Who, like I mentioned before, is also voiced by Link. <laughs> And then Infernals, it's the same cutscene like this for every character. They all do the same motions. See, that was cool actually, the way Link uh, pulls up his shield. Not intentional, but yeah. Link has saved the day. Because Link's story in this game is that he is just, is, is, a, is a wizard in Hyrule with the Shard of Soul Edge. 
and he and he goes to the Soul Calibur world to destroy Soul Edge. Link came to this world in order to defeat the evil which threatened Hyrule. After a long journey, Link finally succeeded in sealing away the terrible evil. In doing so, he not only saved his homeland from peril, but also maintained the tranquility of this world. Link then quietly left this world. A faint echo of his ocarina was all that remained. Yeah, it's the ocarina of time, Link. In case that wasn't obvious enough. Although when a player is that costume in Hyrule Warriors, I like to say it's a Soul Calibur version of Link. If they should have put Link in Soul Calibur Legends, it would have been, would have, instead of putting in fucking Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia, it should have been like, yeah, Link. Link comes back, even though Legends is set before this. So it really be like, in appearing twice. It's going to make it a different Link. Just said two different Links have gone to uh, the Soul Calibur universe. Uh, I actually started with Master Mode with Link, I think, in this version. I've not played this in, in ages, though. Let's uh, look at character profiles. I've done it as Link. Uh, this is equipped with the Megaton Hammer. Oh, I, th I think the Megaton Hammer is like the best weapon in weapon Link has. At least, at least I've got it. Profile. Birthplace. Hyrule. Weapon. Sword and Shield. Weapon. Name. Master Sword and Highland Shield. It basically talks about how there's this evil wizard who had a Shard of Soul Edge and Link killed him. And then Zelda's like, Link, you need to do something about this. And Link's like, okay, Ocarina, let's go to another world. Yeah, all the, all, I think all the guest characters have this place for those. <laughs> yeah. Not really much there, is there? I'll see if we've got the weapon exhibition. You, don't, you really don't need to save game. I've, 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 I've been here before. Uh, um, let's see. Museum. Demo theater. Endings. Now... I must have a. I must, do you not have any weapon exhibitions? Oh! Oh! No! Oh! That's not fair. Oh well. Maybe some other time then. Sophitia, love Sophitia, she's awesome. And she's in a, a Warriors game as well, Warriors Odyssey 3 Ultimate. Look at that, look, look. He has a nipple. An eye nipple. What the fuck? And there's Link, profile for Link is available because Link is Link. So that's the end of uh, this whole look into Soul Calibur 2 on GameCube. And yeah, the recording seems to have been, been pretty good. I'll definitely have to be able to, definitely have to use that on the Xbox so I can finish my Dead or Alive month thing. Got a lot of videos coming up. Damn, it's gonna really eat away a lot of my time, isn't it? Oh well, it's worth it because there's some pretty good games I'm playing on this channel. I just wish more people would watch them and see. Spread the word, please.